Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be cleaning out this cabinet above the fridge. I'm just kidding, don't put that in. Hey guys, welcome back to Joanna Thornton. Today we're gonna to be starting off by cleaning out this cabinet above the fridge. There's some stuff in it that um, probably can go. Stay tuned. <laughs> that literally makes no sense. You don't need a, this coffee maker. Correct. My current one does what that does. It's broken. It's broken, I'm not donating because it's broken. It's I wouldn't broken. wish this. On my worst enemy. If anybody knows what this is, drop a comment down below and let us know. Since we do have a dumpster in our driveway, which I'll touch more on in just a second, I decided it was time to just clear out the cabinets in my kitchen that I almost never look in or get stuff out of because they're just piled up with stuff we do not need. And I figured now was the perfect time. It is so much better up here now. I do have one extra shelf for our refrigerator and I don't wanna get rid of that just in case we might need it down the road. And then some more filters and our waffle maker. We don't make waffles a ton, so I just put it up there. And then all of our trays that we use for like parties and whatnot. And then the ice cube trays for the summertime and then just our throwaway trays. So it's pretty empty up here now. It was just jam packed of tons of junk. And since I did the cabinets above our refrigerator, I felt like it made sense to do the cabinets above our oven because these are probably the two cabinets that I just never reach in, mainly because they're so high and I can't see everything up here, but that doesn't mean they have to be full of junk. And it felt really good, not only to clear things out and get rid of them, but just to clear things out so I could fully wipe these cabinets down. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get in here. We did take out our fine china just because we do not use it at all. We got it for our wedding and it just takes up space and I feel like it would be better suited in someone else's home probably. I did just order here, I'll show y'all on my phone, these racks from Amazon. I got a two pack or two of them. They were pretty cheap and I'm going to sit all of my cupcake and muffin pans upright because they normally do not look this organized. They're normally just thrown all up here and I can't ever get to the right size. So for now it looks good. It's a work in progress and on to the next. Okay, it is time to start dumping some stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that we rented a dumpster for our driveway because we kind of just reached our point of being so tired of driving to the dump and having stuff that's too big for our trash can. And we have a lot of stuff that is really old. Mark and I are coming up on 12 years of marriage. We have that glider from when Ava was little. It went through all four of our children. It's broken now. And just a lot of stuff that's broken, honestly. Most of those hangers are broken. The vacuum cleaner, well, I have a million vacuum cleaners and that one broke. And then this laundry sorter, it served me well for a long time, but it is broken at the bottom. And then just a bunch of junk in there. So we are gonna get started moving all of this out to the dumpster. We have a ton more to put out there too. And we have some neighbor friends who are dumping their stuff too. But anyways, it just feels so good to get rid of stuff.
Okay, just came upstairs and don't judge us because we are in the process of cleaning everything out and going through everything. It's just been this massive shift of not knowing where to put things. So Mark and I just decided to tackle it little areas at a time. And so I'm going to start with the desk right here. We ordered a chair on Target online and I just picked it up today. So I'm gonna put the chair there eventually when we clear everything out. And all of this up here is clean laundry. So I'm gonna get that put away. Y'all can kind of see in my office is rough. I don't know if I'm gonna tackle that today or not. And then that brown table right there, we're giving away. And then I need to find a place for this little nightstand right here. So we're gonna get to work. We have a ton of work ahead of us, but instead of feeling overwhelmed and looking at the entire upstairs, we're just gonna take smaller sections at a time. I don't think I've shown y'all our upstairs landing area or the playroom or really my office in a very long time with reason. Obviously everything is kind of a disaster, but every day we're working on it and it's getting better and better, which is such a good feeling. But I moved this desk, well, with Mark's help, it's a very heavy desk from Bo's room or at least what used to be his room out to this landing area because it didn't really go in the boys bedroom and I kind of love it because we had been homeschooling for the last part of last school year which is now summertime I guess and we probably will be homeschooling again in the fall not by choice but just I'm thinking there's a chance that school will not be back in session so I love having this little area for my kids to work if I need to separate them. And you'll see here in a second, I get it all cleared off, wiped down, and even put a chair there, which I told y'all about, just because I love to have little areas for my kids to go where they can concentrate and not be distracted. I know all you moms out there can relate to me right now, but socks are just such an issue in our family. So I feel like I'm constantly dealing with socks that don't have matches. They get lost all the time. And so I did start doing these little compartments in this drawer just because there's four. They fit perfectly and I divide up each kid's socks in them so my kids know exactly where to get their socks. But I do not like matching up socks. I think it's one of my least favorite things to do. Also, as I was going through these dresses, I started to get emotional because my girls have really outgrown most of these princess dresses and I just am not really quite ready to move on to the next phase of life, but I know they are and I'm going to be passing them on to my nieces, so at least I'll still be able to see them, but it kind of makes me sad for every little milestone and every year that my girls get older.
this desk as well as the hutch with it and the lockers in the boys room if y'all remember what those look like those were all pieces of furniture from mark's childhood and i took them outside and i spray painted all of them i know you're probably not supposed to spray paint furniture but i did and i love it it's held up wonderfully i just got like a matte black spray paint and honestly, I wipe it down and do everything and it has never chipped or looked bad or anything. So I don't regret doing that for one second. And it was so fast and easy. Okay guys, we are actually upstairs in the playroom right now. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because we're working on it, but we have cleared out this corner right here. I still need to clean the baseboards and vacuum, but Mark is taking apart Ava's gymnastics mat right now and her bar, and we're gonna move it in here because I bought her a chair for the corner of her room and it just works better in there. So I'm gonna clean out this area, get the bar set up in here and then set up the chair in her room too. The girls just came upstairs and we're like, oh, they're so excited. I think just like a change of scenery for this bar, but we did screw it back together, no worries. And they've already flipped on it, so it's gonna be good for now. Okay, I'm in Ava's room now. We have her bar gone, so there's so much more space. I'm going to be doing some cleaning out, like I said, and we're gonna put a chair right there in that corner. But I have a ton of clean clothes that we have washed and right there. So I'm going to put them away in her dresser and vacuum really quickly and then put that chair in here. I did order a pillow for it and it hasn't come in yet, but I'm still going to put the chair there. I, it's actually an outdoor chair, but I don't even care. I think it looks so cute. I know y'all have only seen like bits and pieces of Ava's room and maybe not the whole picture, but we do have a colorful rug on the floor and her bedding is white and gold. And then this nightstand behind me, I painted that a long time ago. That was a nightstand that Mark's mom gave me and Ava just kind of wanted it in her room. We moved it in there. I'm not sure if it's going to stay, but all that to say, I really want to put some curtains in Ava's room. I love the way curtains look in her room. She has the rods up already, but I cannot figure out what color curtains to put. I don't want to make her room just like this wild, colorful, crazy room. I want it to make sense. So I was almost leaning towards white curtains, but I would love to know y'all's opinion. I thought at first maybe pink, but I don't think I want to do pink just because of the blue and white walls, but I wonder if there's a color I'm not thinking about. I'm 
nothing but the best for me. So as we are going through stuff, I am trying to give most everything to friends and family locally. But I just wanted to say, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'd love to have you over there because a lot of times I'll just post stuff that I'm giving away over there. And it really helps for people to be local. I know I don't have a ton of local subscribers, but I have a few. And I know I'm going to be posting the quilts that I'm washing right now and those sheets just on Instagram and putting up a box. If anyone's interested, I would love to give them away. And obviously it would be kind of fun to give them away to somebody who would need to like a matching set together, just like the girls had. I gotta figure it out right now Cause I know what you need don't forget to to hop over to our family blogging channel if you're interested in stuff like that. We have a lot of fun over there. I try to post vlogs. I do post vlogs every single week and then Mark and I have started this thing where we go live every other Thursday for now. It's every other Thursday. It might turn into every Thursday and we are going live this Thursday night. So I hope to see you guys there. It's going to be so much fun. We have a couple things planned. It's just a really casual night where we can come. Y'all can ask questions and and we just get to chat with you guys. I know Mark and I just had the best time last time we did it. So I just want to let you guys know so nobody misses it. And I'm sorry to those of you who it's not really in the right time zone. Eventually, we're going to start doing our lives at different times. But for now, it works out best to get our kids in bed and then do it. Okay, it's a little bit later, almost 2 a.m. This just seems like the right place to finish out because Mark and I have been dividing up household chores lately. It's actually been going really, really well. And this is the week that he is buying all the groceries and doing the meal prepping and cooking dinner. And I'm doing all the dishes. And you can clearly tell that by the fact that it is so backed up right now but it doesn't normally look like this in here. We took all of our fine china out because we do not use fine china and I'm going to either try to sell that on Facebook Marketplace or possibly give it away. And then that is all the stuff that goes underneath our kitchen sink because we are waiting on another part for our sink. If y'all didn't watch last week's video, it's leaking and I'm thinking that we will get that all fixed up tomorrow. But for now, that's there and this is what it looks like down here. With that poor little guy, we have to empty him out occasionally. So I want to get all these dishes done and I know some of y'all say that it seems like I always have a good attitude. But I can guarantee you right now, I'm not really feeling cleaning up all these dishes, but I'm going to do it because I know it's what needs to happen. And then I am going to run my robo rock and not think about the floor. So all I want to do is finish this up and then head to bed. It was storming so bad outside, which you can see right here, the lightning and the thunder was so loud. And all I could think was how soaking wet all the stuff in the dumpster was getting. I know it doesn't matter at all and that stuff was junk anyway, but it just made me feel really weird. But I really love a good evening thunderstorm. At this point, Mark had gone to bed and the kids were obviously asleep. It was super, super late. And it was just kind of relaxing to clean the kitchen. And the more I cleaned, the more I wanted to do. And I kind of had to force myself to stop cleaning and, you know, go to bed. Also, all of that stuff over on the pew is our giveaway pile. So stuff that we didn't want to throw in the dumpster because we knew somebody could get use out of it. And it's just staying there until we can take it and donate it.
I'm so glad that you guys are here watching this video and that you've chosen to just be here with me even for a little bit. I appreciate you guys so much. I know I tell you all that all the time, but I just never want you to think I take y'all for granted. And I love that I feel like more and more of y'all are reaching out to me on Instagram because they show up in my request folder, meaning I've never gotten a message from you before. And that just means so, so much to me. You guys have sent such encouraging, sweet, kind messages to me, especially over this past week. And it's just put a huge smile on my face. So I love that I can encourage y'all and I love that in turn y'all encourage me even more. So this community is just such a beautiful thing that I am so, so thankful for. And stay tuned because I'm pretty sure next week in my next Sunday video, I'm doing a giveaway. So it's going to be fun. You guys are going to love it. And I'm looking forward to sharing more about that with you next week. Just another Friday in paradise